Hello beautiful souls, welcome back. This is Ona and thanks for joining me. And if you're new, definitely welcome. I'm so glad that you could join us. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a reading here for the new moon in, in Gemini uh, coming up in June, 2019. And I'm using a new deck that my friend Mary Alice just gave me and it's awesome. Uh, thank you, Mary Alice, if you're watching this. And this is the Osho Zen Tarot. I'm not a tarot reader. Um, I use them like oracle cards, but um, whether or not you uh, are into tarot or just like the oracle, it's a beautiful deck and I've been kind of playing with it and it's so much fun. I may or may not follow up with a card um, with uh, for my Spirit Animal Awareness deck as well. Okay, so I have pre-shuffled this deck uh, just to save a little time on the video. And um, yeah, so it's been an intense couple of weeks. I don't know about you, but uh, it just feels to me like um, <laughs> there's a lot of kind of conflicting energies right now. And uh, that's why I selected this background. Um, just kind of a lot of, I, I'm seeing sort of earth in and heaven, but also kind of murky versus clear. And it had, I have been having a lot of emotions coming up. That's why the water, water kind of image. Okay, so let's see, silence. Um, okay, so there may be, there, there may be a lot of stuff going on here. I mean, Gemini's a really kind of, um, kind of a mental activity and um, I'm sort of getting, we may be having, maybe difficult to come into silence. Um, just like this, especially if you're in the, in the Northern Hemisphere, this is a time of year where there's a lot of um, kind of growth and bird song and all this stuff happening in the natural world, a lot of energy, a lot of, you know, go, 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 go. Um, and not necessarily bad, but it, it just seems like it may be an intense month coming up um, for you know, or at least this next couple of weeks. And so the invitation is to find silence where you can find it. Like you may have to actually seek it out. Um, integration, yeah. Like I said, there's a lot of these, these uh, energies that I'm seeing that are opposing or maybe finding that old things come are coming up to be cleared. And so, yeah, I am feeling this is a time of integration. I've been seeing for a long time this solstice that, that we're coming up to is going to be a huge, huge portal that does have to do with integration. It is like this <clears throat> stepping into a, um, a, a just like, yes, the divine feminine is coming forward, but so is the divine masculine, right? So there's this, this feeling of there's going to be and, and and this is kind of what's coming to a head right now is 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 a more integrated um, energy coming forward on the planet and moving into that <laughs> like there's there's a certain amount of chaos right and that's this you know this is the silence in reverse right um, so the challenge is to kind of see through the chaos and to maintain that sense of silence and groundedness and you know just just find the peace within and between all the um stuff that's coming up um the fool all right so the fool is i see it as actually it can be a very positive card and it's sort of like stepping into the unknown stepping into a it's like a starting a new journey right because when we start a new journey um a lot of times we don't know what's coming up and it's just a, a, a it's like faith it's like trusting that okay i'm gonna step off into this unknown and look he's got the flowers in his hands and he's not even looking down right he's really focused up he's focused on the beauty of the moon and the stars and and he's floating i mean i don't see this guy plummeting to his death i see him just sort of floating up so it's it's really um asking right now like we're being asked to trust and to have faith to have a lot of faith that 
you know, things, things are on the up and up and things are, are going to be here to support us and to lift us up. Um, but the thing is, I, and this is something I've been getting very, very strongly. It's like, it's, it's, it's going to be increasingly, we're going to be compelled to those of us who are really on the path. Uh, and, and and really working on on the awakening um, journey, uh, we're going to be compelled more and more to stay in our truth, okay? And and that's going to really <laughs> experiencing, yeah. Um, it, it it's going to be be really asking us to um, be aware of where the agitation is, where the chaos is, and to allow that to just sort of flow through us like there's a lot of the fire and the water both like fire can be all the stuff that you know comes up i'm seeing both of these as kind of emotions okay so fire being like the the, the fiery sometimes the rage the you know the the um agitation the anxiety and water in its in its challenging phase is more like kind of the depression, right? You know, just kind of sinking in. And so all this that stuff is going on, but look, I mean, how, how balanced she's, she's, she is. She's like letting it flow through. She's allowing it. She's not trying to fight it. She's not trying to block it. She's just allowing it to flow through. And then she's staying in her peace right there, right in the center. Okay. Um, and I love that snake at the bottom. Um, that's the Ouroboros. Like if you could see the full thing, it would be the circle, right? So a lot of this is coming full circle, coming to the end of a cycle. We're going to be starting a new cycle, um, you know, starting with the solstice. And it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be glorious and it's going to be, um, y you know, it's going to be probably fairly intense <laughs> in a lot of ways. So a lot of this is about experiencing, allowing ourselves to experience and to tune into experiencing and if you've had a lot of challenges in this lifetime and in past lifetimes there may be energies that you have that have been repressed or blocked or that you have you know um maybe um kind of put a lock on sometimes our our higher self puts a lock on things until we're ready to deal with them and um so there there can be the sense of maybe frozenness or something and, and when when if you've got like a, a sense of um something that's been bottled up for a long time or something that's been kind of frozen in you and when it starts to um, move again it can be painful and it can bring up a lot of stuff and that's where these energies are coming in right um, so if you have been experiencing a lot of volatile emotions of any sort just breathe through it because it's okay and a lot of the stuff is just stuff that has not you know it may have been processed already but it's sort of like these residual waves of um you know just just residual stuff and um it's just residual stuff that needs to be kind of released depressurized so that we can move into so just allowing yourself to experience that right and you know this is autumn right just experiencing it some leaves are going to fall and then it's just going to be you know um uh, maybe a period of rest after that Okay, and I'm going to put one last thing here, and it's transformation, okay? Now this did come up in reverse, right? Let's take a look at that. If there's resistance to transformation, again, again, I'm getting this allowance, right? Because change is not easy. And, I mean, if you look at this transformation card, <laughs> there's fire. Ooh, look at that purple flame. And it's almost like lightning. I'm seeing this as, you know, um, a very, very powerful energy. Almost like a thunderstorm, right? Thunder God kind of thing. And... It's going to come when the time is ready. The transformation is imminent for all of us. Some of us are already going through it. And others of us, 
you know, it'll happen when the time comes. And I think that probably goes for all of us, all of us because we're, there's going to be parts of us that are have already transformed and parts of us that are in the process and parts of us that may be still locked away and aren't ready yet. So I'm really getting right now is the time to be really, uh, just really compassionate. You know, self-compassion is in order. And again, allowance, because oh, this process of change is... is, you know, um, we're animals, and animals like to have that homeostasis, that stability. And even when the change is positive, and even when we look forward to it, even when we, when we want it, it's still scary. And so it's allowing the change to happen in its time, not forcing and not fighting. So again, it has a lot to do with trust. It has a lot to do with allowing the experience to happen. And you can also ask, let this process happen and unfold in the right time, in the right way for the highest good. And allow it to happen with joy and ease. Allow it to happen with joy and ease. Allow it to happen with joy and ease. And I'm open to receiving this experience in a joyful way and in a way that's as easy as it can be. All right, so again, Self-love, self-compassion, like, you know, there's, it, it's like we're done, I think, with forcing ourselves to do things that just aren't in alignment. And, um, you know, if you feel like there's something that you have to have to do that doesn't feel in alignment, revisit and look at it again and see if, well, maybe you think that there's something that's being missed. Right? If there's maybe another way, maybe, you know, outsource it or does it, is, is, is that, is that really truth that it, you have to do this? <laughs> is it really truth? And what would it look like to really be in your truth? What would you be doing if you were really in your truth and, and just explore. All right, so thank you so much for joining me and I uh, just uh, love you so much. Um, always appreciate your likes and shares and subscribes and um, have a wonderful, wonderful new moon and we'll catch you again soon. Oh, wait a sec. I was going to pull one of my cards too. <laughs> All right, so if you haven't, if you have stuck with me this long, <laughs> surprise, here, this is my deck, and I haven't, I don't know, I'll just kind of see what card wants to come forward. Let's see, ooh, eagle, I love it. Okay, eagle. Um, so to me, eagle, eagle's always the, the animal that comes forward to um, really, it, it, this is, kind of like for me personally this is my totem of alignment of you know showing me it's showing me the ascension path when i'm you know on the right path i the eagle shows up right and so really just again trust trust right listen to that inner voice because it knows and even if the inner voice is telling you something scary, right, or if it feels like there's all this agitation, seek the silence, right? Let's turn this this way. Seek that inner voice within the inner still small voice because it knows. And it will show you the way, right? Okay. Um, so there's, there's a lot here. There's a lot of energy here and it's positive. 
and it's it's really um, opening up just new vistas for the collective and I think for any of us who are willing to really tune in and and uh, you know um, be open to experiencing what's here for us. All right, love you all, and catch you again soon.